Hey guys, welcome back. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to do a compression test on your small engine. And this procedure goes for any small engine. Uh, what I happen to have here today is my uh, Tecumseh 8 horsepower Snow King engine. So before you do your compression test, uh, the first thing you need to do is remove your spark plug wire. Like I have just done. Once that's done, take your 13 16 spark plug socket, remove your spark plug. your compression hose, you want to make sure you get the fitting for a small engine uh, flathead. There's two different kinds. There's one for overhead, there's one for flathead. Make sure that you get the one for a flathead engine. Go ahead and thread it into the cylinder head of the engine, finger tight. You do have an O-ring on the bottom of your uh, your connector, so you want to make sure not to smash that. This here is the compression gauge that I'm going to be using, and it's got a like a air compressor fitting on it. Connect it to your hose. I'm just going to let the gauge kind of dangle like that. Now what we're looking for, compression-wise, is anything around or below 60 is bad. Uh, it's not necessarily good. Um, I might be able to set my gauge right here. Okay. Anything below 60 is bad. Um, it's not necessarily real bad, but it's not good. So with this engine, there may or may not be a automatic compression release on the camshaft. On this particular engine, I don't really know. Um, but if there is an automatic compression release, you are not going to get an accurate reading. But any reading is better than no reading. So we're looking for between 60 and 90 PSI with this engine. Um, this engine does not have an air cleaner on it. So, what I'm going to want to do is open the choke and open the throttle all the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this over a few times and we'll see what we get for compression. Okay, on the gauge here I got 50 PSI, so I'm guessing that's probably got something to do with the compression release. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Release the pressure, make sure we're in tight. We'll go ahead and do it again. Okay, so once again, I got 50 PSI on this motor. And like I said, these big engines probably do most likely have a compression release on the camshaft. So, with that being said, 
I know there's nothing wrong with this engine because I've run this engine before and it starts up easy and it's got lots of torque and it feels like it's got plenty of power. If you want to see this engine running, I just did a previous video on a test run and feel free to go back on my channel and take a look at that video. So, anyway, if you like my video, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.